A couple weeks ago, Constantine showed up on Arrow. Now this was pretty exciting because the character uh, was played by the same actor who played him in the NBC series that was unfortunately cancelled. Now one cool thing about the new DC series is they really want to stay connected or at least related to each other. So it was really interesting, really amazing that the producers brought Matt Ryan from the Constantine series into Arrow as Constantine as a way of kind of bridging the series even though they're on different networks and everything. Now this is one prop I don't actually own myself, but the story of it is just way too cool to, to pass up to tell. Basically when the show wrapped up, again it was cancelled, it was done, so all the props and costumes went their separate ways, whether people walked off with some of them, whether some of the actors took them, whether they just went to storage and got lost, whatever, but the story goes that all six lighters that were made for the original show were gone, they're done. But they didn't really, didn't really matter. However, coming back into the series, there's a big difference. They needed to have the lighter, and they wanted to have something still consistent with what was on the original Constantine show. Now, this is one of the coolest things I love about fans and, and prop makers and prop replicators and everything is how we can work together. It's not always just a you're a prop maker and you're a prop replicator, and that's the two things you can do, and then that's it. The coolest thing is when you can actually work together or benefit from each other. And there was an amazing member on the Replica Prop Forum who had actually worked on the movie Constantine Lighter Replicas uh, starring Keanu Reeves and also was starting to replicate the Constantine from the TV series. It, it was pretty cool. He, he spent a lot of time, got some, some reference, and I'm going to go into detail here in a second. But what was really cool was that when the show was actually going to have the crossover event, they actually were able to get in touch with this, this individual and get his lighters to use for the show. So this prop maker, Mark, was a huge Constantine fan. And since he had already made the replica version of the movie, uh, replica version of the movie lighter, he wanted to do the version of the TV as well. So using pictures of production, designer had actually posted on Twitter and some additional info and screen caps and everything and made 100% accurate graphics for all five sides of the lighter. And as it turned out, all the artwork that was used in the lighter could be found on the internet. So either as clip art or a picture that could be vector traced or whatnot. And it was attainable. So apparently uh, the production designer from Constantine was so impressed with these replicas and he confirmed that, that they completely nailed it and he bought a couple. So then another friend of Mark's that uh, works in the industry had one as well. So but in this past August he was contacted by the prop people at Arrow and they needed two lighters for Constantine and since you know, the other ones had gone missing, and they only had four days before shooting would start. So it was really tight, he wasn't, he wasn't gonna be able to make them. So what he did is actually sent his uh, actual personal copies and then had them borrow them and then do a swap out later. Um, in fact, you could actually tell, he could actually tell himself while watching the, the episode, which was actually his and of course which was CGI. So he talked about his process in making these and he said they're not hard per se, but they are very time consuming. He said it takes about one hour per side, to keep in mind it's five sides, and the etching itself takes about two and a half hours per side. So he uses a photo sensitive dry film which is applied to the, the brass using heat, and the graphics are transferred to the dry film, and then yeah, etched with a stencil you really like. So when developed, the sharp etching patterns are less on the brass, and then it can be suspended in some fair chlorine. And once all five edges are etched, the Zippo is cleaned up, polished, and then the surface is sealed with Renaissance wax for oxidation of the brass. So as you can tell, it's a completely intensive procedure. Very cool, and the results are just amazing. So I hope you can see that in this in this video here. And I just I just love I love seeing how the fans create props so authentically. The prop makers come and ask to borrow or buy or use the props that we replicate to use in the show. It's almost like it's a big pat on the back for doing great work. And plus it makes you feel like when that, now you're not making replicas, you're making actual screen use props. It's amazing. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments below. Be sure to click over here to subscribe. Uh, I'll have some more videos coming up. I have some more Arrow for sure. And I was really happy to share this one with you guys. Again, it's not, a prop I own myself, but it is fun to kind of tell a story about how it was made and all the hard work actually went to produce something that was used on the series. So I hope you really enjoyed seeing that. For now though, if you want to click over here and here, you can check out two more of my Arrow videos. Uh, again, these are so much fun to share, so thank you so much for liking and subscribing, but most of all, thanks for watching.